My name is Mike Caton. I've coached thousands of runners and hurdlers over the past 30 years, and to date have developed 25 high school and junior Olympic state champions. Now, I'm on a mission to pass on my knowledge and experience to as many athletes and coaches as possible. Are you ready for me to help you? Today I'm at a local track. I'm meeting with a high school distance runner. My name is Gus and I am 17 years old. He and his coach reached out to me to see if I could meet with him to help him with his performance. I'm here to kind of get my form looked at and see what I can improve upon. I'm going into my senior year of high school and I'd like to really focus on the little things this season and try to improve on my times and performances. He's a really good runner and competitor. In the cross country 5K, I've ran 16.05 at altitude along with 9.29 in the two mile and 4.26 in the mile. He just happens to be in an exceptional class. We had, I think, three All-Americans in the top 10 at Cross Country State this year, so it's a very competitive class. I'm gonna take him through what I call my ACE method of coaching. ACE stands for Analyze, Correct, and Empower. I'm gonna start off by analyzing his running technique, because that's generally an area that we can make some quick improvements. I'm also gonna to talk to him about his nutrition and his strength training. I see three main problems that we can address. The first is that you spend too much time in the air or bouncing. There's a couple problems with that. First is when you're in the air, you're slowing down. There's no propulsion. You only get your propulsion from striking your foot on the ground and pushing back. And the other thing is we're looking at vertical motion when what we want is horizontal motion. So you're spending too much energy pushing yourself up um, where you could use all that energy pushing you forward. The second problem is overstriding. It's not as obvious here because you're running nice and relaxed, but I've seen you in meets when you're running faster and you're overstriding big time, okay? The problem with overstriding is that it takes more energy. For one, it takes energy to extend your legs forward. Second, because when you're extending your legs forward, you'll always be striking the ground in front of your center of mass, and that's like putting the brakes on. Striking the ground under your center of mass is a lot less braking. But if I could get you to land more here versus here, then it's not so much braking. And you hit the ground and you roll right off of it versus overcoming the brake. And then the third is we want to have less uh, movement in your torso and in your shoulders. So just a firmer um, torso with arms just moving back and forth with your hands going by your hips. We're also going to want to, we're going to talk about your strength program because the stronger you get, certainly in your core and your hips, it's going to make all this come together. Okay. Okay. If you're interested in learning how to run better, I've created a running technique cheat sheet. You can download it in a link that I've provided below. Also, if you'd like to learn how I might be able to coach you either in person or online, you could go to acemethodcoaching.com to learn more, or you could also see that link in the notes below. Okay, the next thing that we want to change in addition to your foot strike is the length of your stride. Okay, okay. so I want you to try to just um, slightly shorten it, um, but more than anything, um, I want you to try to land with more of a bent knee with your foot underneath you versus that straight leg out in front of you. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, when I focused more on the uh, just lifting and then dropping, it felt better. Okay. We've uh, gotten the foot strike down. We've gotten your stride pattern down. The last thing I want you to do is now think about what's happening up here. When you run, you just want to have your whole core just sort of firm. Doesn't mean that you're running so rigid that you know, you're know uh, you getting, getting tired. But what you are doing is just keeping it firm so that nothing is moving. Okay. Your shoulders are moving in, in the sockets and your hips are moving here, but there's no shoulders moving that's twisting your spine. Okay. Okay, um, let's work on that. I see your arm 
arms are a bit high, shoulders are a bit high, arms are a bit high, running like this. Try to bring your shoulders down so there's space between your ears and your shoulders. Good. So no movement. Back and forth with the arms, brushing by the hips. So after that last stride I just did, it feels a lot it feels a lot better and a lot more natural than what I, how I used to run. So I'm excited to kind of put this into my training runs and my workouts throughout the summer and hopefully get it down by a season. I think we had a good day today. We were able to identify some areas in his technique that he can improve on and he was able to make those adjustments. And I also found out he wasn't doing any strength training so I put him on a strength training program. Um, I'm very confident that we combine those three things and he's going to have uh, significant improvement in a very short amount of time. Generally, I'd spend a lot of time talking about his training program, but I know his coaches and what they're doing and that's spot on. So in this case, um, I'm really just coming alongside of them and kind of filling in the bases on things that he can do to get better. Make sure to subscribe to get new videos each week and also share this with anyone that you think might like it. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a like below and it'll also let me know to make more.